Good morning, everyone. Mama Seven and Blessed here. Um, just wanted to make this video because um, something dropped in my spirit that I want to share. And um, I just want to say, <clears throat> those of us who are on YouTube, those of us who um, are searching for truth, um, when you're searching for truth, it's more of a spiritual enlightenment. It's not based on head knowledge. Um, when you're searching for truth, um, you have to walk with the Holy Spirit in order for him to reveal things to you. Because if you're not careful, you'll take everything that you see on YouTube, you'll take it and you'll be confused because the Holy Spirit is not um, walking with you <clears throat> to give a revelation to what you're hearing. Okay? Um the reason why it's so important to have a personal relationship with God is because when you do, you know how he moves. You know how he sounds. You know how he speaks. And therefore, you won't take on everything that everybody says as literal, literal truth. You can't even come on my channel and take what I say. <clears throat> and take what I say as literal truth. If the Holy Spirit does not reveal to you or does not, does not confirm to you in your spirit, if your spirit doesn't agree with what is coming out of my mouth, then you can't just take that and run with it. You know what I'm saying? I want to speak on um, spiritual warfare and the spirit of racism. And the reason why I want to speak on that, because people have to understand, there are spirits that are out here all over to try to seduce you into becoming a racist, um, into becoming... Um, someone that looks on a person's skin color, a person's, um, um, the way a person acts, the way a person treats you, and then to put people in a category. And really, you can't, you can't do that anymore. We're, we're really not supposed to do it, do that. Because at the end of the day, if we're, if we're all the body of Christ, we don't see skin color. We don't see what a person looks like. We see their spirit. Now, if you experience racism from anybody, what you're detecting as a believer, as a Christian, is the spirit of racism. You're detecting a spirit of hatred. You're despairing. You're detecting a spirit of, uh, of, of, of division. You know what I mean? And so you need to understand that in all you're getting, get understanding. Don't just come on YouTube and come on these places looking for um from answers from 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 people you know look for the holy spirit to give you a revelation through people look for him to use people to help you understand where we're at now i've had a i've had a huge issue with this i've had a huge 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 issue with this where i live because where i'm from new york city is a very cultural place there's a lot of culture there so i'm used to being around all different people from all different country all dif all different countries all different walks of life so it's hard when you come to a city i mean to a state like where i am okay that is mainly what you see is black and white. You know what I mean? It's black and white. So when you go to the schools, you very rarely see black teachers. You very rarely see black people in certain positions. And so the enemy will use that to make you feel inferior to these people. Now, the, the sad and the hard part about it is that in the white race, what you will see is a lot of pride. I don't care no matter where they come from, what, what they could be high, they could be low. One thing I say about them is they mesh together because they all have this pride about them because a lot of times they feel like they're better than. I'm just being honest, okay? I, I, I wouldn't say I'm a racist. I can't be a racist and say that I love God. Like, people, you have to understand, you cannot come on these channels and listen to people dog, dog a whole race out and say that they walk with God. That's not God. You understand what I'm saying? You have to know the spirit of God. He's not going to sit up here and tell you to hate this race or hate that race or hate this person or hate that person. Not if he's a God of love. That's just facts. That's just truth. And if you really sit back and step back and listen, that's just common sense. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's hard because in the black race, you have spirits that um, 
black people are dealing with, and that's inferiority, um, feeling like they're less than, um, um, you want to call it some laziness and, and different things like that. But let's be honest, we experience, people experience that in all walks of life. You might want to characterize, I might want to characterize the white people and say that they think that they're better than us or the, or the black people and say we're lazy and we want things handed out to them, to us. No, it's deeper than that. You know what I mean? It is deeper than that. It is a stronghold. It's a strong man spirit. And so what happens is the enemy uses that. Like it's a cleverly devised plan to keep people divided and to keep them out of the kingdom. You know what I mean? Like we all have a work to do. Every race, every person, every man, woman, boy, girl on this earth, we have a work to do. And as Lord as, as long as the enemy can keep us divided, a house divided cannot stand. So I don't care what anybody's trying to plan or what anybody's trying to set up. If the spirit of the vision lives on the inside of you, you're not going to be able to accomplish whatever you're trying to accomplish. Or even if you do accomplish it, God is not going to be in it. So everybody, you have to understand, you can't get on, you cannot get on YouTube and, and different channels and begin to follow people and to become a part of something. You have to use your discernment and you have to say, God, are you in this? He ain't, matter of fact, if you're his child and you know his voice, then you need to know that the voice is speaking is not of God if it goes against everything that he is for. <clears throat> You understand what I'm saying? If God is if God is love, then that means you, He loves you. Love people from all walks of life. Now, if you're dealing with people who say you go to work and you're deal, dealing with a spirit of racism, Ephesians six, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this present world, spiritual wickedness in high places. So you have to understand. You're gonna have we we have to go into battle. We have to go into battle. <clears throat> Okay, in the spiritual realm. It's something that we can't see. So what do we do? We go get our armor. We start to read scriptures based on that. We start to pray for the people. If you got to get radical, get your blessed oil. You understand what I'm saying? And God will give you favor with those people who might dislike you because of your color. And you know what's crazy? Here's what God constantly tells me. And I know... Whom, to whom much is given, much is required. That's why I'm sharing this with y'all because this is one of my struggles. When somebody does something and they're in the wrong and they're mean or they're just nasty or they do certain things, I look at the person and I begin to not want to talk to the person, not want to deal with the person and avoid them because there's a spirit on them. It's a spirit attached to them that grieves my spirit. So what do I do? I try to stay away from them. I, not try, I try not to be around them. But then they look at me as an, I'm a nasty person because I'm, I'm going to be honest, you know. I've experienced some things where I've gotten mad and, 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 and ended up using some, you know, some curse words and different things like that because I allowed my flesh to react. Excuse me. I allowed my flesh to react right and try to fight flesh when in all actuality it's a spiritual battle we wrestling with a spiritual battle because i guarantee you the only reason why the enemy is fighting you with whatever he's fighting you with <clears throat> is because in all actuality the love that god has placed in you the enemy is trying to steal it by getting you to have faith in what you see so if you put your faith in the fact that you think because this white person has a racist spirit on them, all white people are racist, you have given the enemy the victory over you, your mind, and your situation. And you're going to walk around and you're going to be bitter and you're not going to be able to enjoy the blessings of the God and of the blessings of God in the midst of everything that's going on around you because you are walking in oppression. I don't want to be oppressed. It's a constant battle every day not to be oppressed. Let us be honest. None of us are perfect. Just because we come on YouTube and talk about God doesn't mean we're perfect. This is a struggle. This is a struggle. Because really a lot of times I want to come on here and I want to snap out about everything that's going on in my life and other people's life. How family members treat us. How people do us. 
It's a battle. Just because we come on here and we talk about God and we, we, we speak love, it's a battle because in our mind, the enemy is trying to get us to talk about something else. The enemy is trying to get us to go to go left when God is saying go go left when God is saying go right. It's a battle. Don't think just because we sit here, we think we're holier than thou. No, we're pressing our way like Paul did. You can't look back. You have to look forward and say, you know what? Okay. And this is how we fight in the spiritual realm. We talk about what we know is right. Even though we don't feel like doing what's right, we talk about what we know is right. Because there's somebody listening. There's somebody who needs this. There's somebody who, who needs this word. Because even in the word, it talks about we are to minister grace to the hearer, the good word of God. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I know that I wouldn't be sitting here right now. I'd probably be sitting somewhere in jail. Let me give y'all a testimony. One of my problems is, is that when people do me wrong, I want to fight. I'm going to be honest because it's a spirit of anger. You know, and I have to detach myself from that because many might not look at me and say, you know, when I get dressed up and I go outside or whatever, they might not look at, they might not think that I'm like that, like I'm rowdy. I'm not rowdy and I'm not all the time on some rah-rah type stuff, but you know, sometimes I, you, you know, sometimes you just black, you know what I'm saying? And, and you just, you just see black and you just, and what does that mean? darkness when you black or or what they call it i'm blacking right now because i'm feeling some type of way you understand what i'm saying what is that darkness the, the, the darkness of the enemy you know what i'm saying and it's not healthy for us it's not healthy for us to be racist it's not healthy for us to uh dislike people because of the positions that they hold or because of what we experience it's not right for us to uh, be afraid of muslims because uh we identify with them all as terrorists it's not it's not good for us to think uh that all black mothers are on welfare and different things like that we have to understand that no matter what, God is the source and everything else is a resource. So what God makes available for somebody else, he might not make that available for you, but he's made another way. At the end of the day, we got to stop We got to stop this because what is happening is in the midst of everything that go, that's going on, division, racism, and all of that is a distraction away from what God is showing us from this end time movement. There is an end time movement taking place right now. And if you are strong in spirit, you'll survive it. If not, you're going to be in the wine press that um, there's a channel. I'm going to, I am going to try and share this video. I think his name is West Truther or something like that. His channel is awesome. Like, he's speaking some real truth like a disciple of Christ. I don't worship man. At the end of the day, I hear the Spirit of God the spirit of God coming through him. And I appreciate the fact that he even does his videos the way he does because I know that he endures great persecution because he's being obedient. You're you going to endure persecution. These are the end times. You know, God promised not to let any harm come, come unto you. You know, um, you cover yourself with Psalm 91, but you also got to know how to, how to, how to deal in the spirit. You're going to know because the enemy is going to jump on who he can. A lot of times I heard a lady speaking about the weakest link. A lot of times he uses what, 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 what man might consider the weakest link to come against you. But you got to stay strong and you got to know that, you know, you can't get on YouTube and, 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 and on these different social media sites and be seduced by Satan because he's watching. The enemy is subtle. He knows what a lot of us is looking at and a lot of us see, but we all don't see this, this, the same thing. You have to have eyes to see and ears to hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. You got to understand that the enemy tries to mock God. He tries to um he tries to duplicate in his form what God is 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 doing right now. So he wants to confuse you and you have to understand God is not the author of confusion. So whatever's going around you going on around you if if you end up getting confused, stop, take a break, go spend time with God, read your word, 
get a book pertaining, get a get a spiritual book pertaining to what you're going through or what you're not understanding. But you got to get some quiet time and you got to take time away from the world, time away from the TV, time away. And we know how to make time. Trust me, when it's something we want or something we want to do, we know how to make time. We know how to make time. There's some people that have to be to work at 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning, and will choose to party all night and leave from the club and go to work. And you want to tell me you don't got time to spend with God, but then don't let it be that we on our deathbed or on our sickbed or something, then we that's when we want to find time. When you're weak, no. Put strength on top of strength. I had to tell myself that today. I went for a walk. I kept telling my daughter, I feel like a job. I feel strong. I feel good because I've been battling for a long time. I haven't been working out. But I started with taking care of my inner man. I've been drinking a lot of water and trying to change my eating habits because there's no sense of exercising if you want to just constantly just put crap in your body. We all have our cravings or whatever, but we have to use wisdom and we have to pace ourselves. I think I was being hard on myself because I went from, from a size 10 back up to a 13, 14 around there, you know, and I, I felt some type of way, but then it was like, no, you know, these things happen. Not to mention that I was breastfeeding a nine pound baby. My baby was almost 10 pounds straight out the womb and he went directly to the breast because I breastfeed my children, no bottles. And so he just was eating and he was taking all my calories. So, you know, it's, you know, it's a challenge as a mom, but I live under the grace of God because I know I'm not a perfect person. So I'm just here to say, because, you know, I'm seeing things on YouTube and it saddens, saddens me to see that us knowing that we're in the end time, there's still division. Don't get me wrong. I've felt some type of way about white people because how I've gotten treated by them. You know, even being a light skinned woman, my grandmother was white and black. Do you understand what I'm saying? But the fact of the matter is, is that I don't hate them all. You know why? The proof is in the pudding. I have met some wonderfully sweet, loving, caring Caucasian people. You understand? I'm, I'm not here for all that that they doing, talking about their evil list. And you got some evil black people. You got some evil Spanish people. You got some evil. You got evil people everywhere. Whoever the enemy can use. You understand what I'm saying? He can even use me. He can even use you. I could be evil one minute and nice the next. If I if I miss it, if I miss it, what you think all this schizophrenia and, and all this stuff is about? It's, it's about spirits. It's about spirits. So we are the ones who have to stay vigilant and stay guard, stay on guard, guard and watch and pray. It's important for us to watch and pray. You know what I mean? I know there's some people that's not even going to watch this video in their entirety. Well, then I guess the whole message is not for you. I don't know. But at the end of the day, this is what dropped in my spirit. This is what I want to share. And all you're getting, get understanding. It is for you to understand who the God that you serve. Don't be finessed by these doctrines out here on YouTube. Because you will get finessed. And when you get finessed, you're going to end up in, a, in, a, in, a, in trouble. Okay, stay prayerful, stay vigilant, ask the Holy Spirit to come into your life to try to help you and to guide you. God knows you're not perfect. There's some things we'll never know until we get to heaven. But at the end of the day, he knows everything. So he knows the, the, the seducing spirits that out that's out here that the enemy is trying to use people to lure you into trouble. Because remember, we are living in the last days. The enemy is busy and he has a cleverly de devised plan. He wants to kill us all. He especially wants to, us to die in our sins. That's major. That's one thing you have to understand. Because if you die in your sins, then hell is where you will stay. And you will be, okay? Who wants to hang with a friend that's going to try and set them up? Who wants to be around anybody that's going to try and set them up? Who wants to spend eternity with somebody that's going to try and set them up for failure? Well, the enemy wants to set all of us up for failure. He hates us. He doesn't want no... He really he really just wants to torment us. If he's tormenting you here on earth, and you got to constantly fight this spiritual battle, what the heck do you think going to happen in hell? And then it's going to be no God for you to pray to and nobody to constantly help you. Right now, while we have breath in our body, God constantly sends help for us.